weekend, everybody. We're going to check in this weekend, just take you along for a little trip down to Orlando. I'm going to go and uh, see how it's doing. Maybe uh, mow it down a little bit there. Check on everything. And uh, let these guys run around. Mostly I got Chevy and Diesel with me. Hey, Diesel. Diesel. Say hello to him. Diesel. No, he's in car ride mode. He's just enjoying himself. Well, we're going to have to get to mowing, but we're going to have to give it some Chevy power first to get the lawnmower going. Everything here seems to be in order. Found my property tax bill. I was calling the municipality the last couple of weeks. and Where's my property tax bill? I think it's due by the end of September, and I haven't gotten it yet. I gave them my mailing address. You know what they did with it? It was sitting right here on the ground in front of the camper, soaking wet. Yeah, right there, Diesel. Who does that? Why would the municipality leave my property tax just out in the elements outside a camper? That's clearly not got like anyone living permanently in it. Why wouldn't they call me? They have my phone number. I'm like, hey, uh, Trucker Josh, we got your bill here for you. Uh, I guess we got your address wrong. Where do we send it to? I could have told them. Well, this is where I need to send to. It's sitting out here in the elements. I hope that's not the one I, because I called in last week and they said they were going to send me a new one, right? I hope they didn't just send it here. This isn't a mailing address. This is a physical address. A mailing address is where you get your mail. That's where you're supposed to get those kind of things. It's a good thing we're out here, out here regularly, just otherwise we would have never gotten it. I mean, I, I paid it already. I called in, asked what the amount was, and I just paid it. But I told them I need that physical copy, like for tax purposes and for, you know, just legal purposes, I need to have my tax property bill. Somebody made a whoops. But that's not important right now. What's important right now is uh, we've got the craftsman out. We're about to do some mowing. I forgot to take along my jerry can of gasoline. But uh, good thing for us, we got a little bit of moisture at the bottom of the tank there. Some gasoline left in there yet. We're just going to have to uh, use what we got. As you can see here, I've let it grow a little bit. Uh, got a little lazy, I guess. Well, I've gotten pretty busy, not lazy. It's busy. You can see all these uh, shrubs that we cut down. They're starting to grow again. Oh, well, this is not that tall. Not that tall, eh? Uh, then we have a problem. Then we got to... That's a lot more work to clear that than this. Watch out, boys. I got to hook this up to the Chevy and get her going. We'll start her up so it activates the tornado machine in there. Hook her up to the electricity here. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need two hands for this, don't I? Here. Sit there, my friends, and watch the master at work. Uh, black on black, red on red. That's how we do things here. She's getting some juice, I can hear her. Okay. Nothing but class around here. Okay, she's gonna need a second or two to build up some power. May not look like it, but this thing's a powerhouse. It's a lot of juice to get her going. We actually have a much nicer riding mower. If you guys have been watching us uh, since last year, we got that zero point turn uh, Cub Cadet. Uh, it's just, there's no way I'm gonna use that nice mower on this. That's, uh, that's why we got that one. It's a bushwhacker. It's a Bushwhacker Craftsman 1000, or it's a Craftsman Bushwhacker LT1000. It's a, a technical thing. I guess we'll just wait for it to charge up a little bit yet. Now, this is where our house is gonna be if you're new to the vlog. Uh, you may not have seen this place yet. This is our land that we own. Uh, this is where we're gonna be building our, our house in a few years. The house is gonna sit right here facing this way. The trees are going to be our backyard and our side yard. Oh, and front yard and other side yard too. But this clearing was already here for the most part when we bought the land, except for these shrubs. 
they were about six feet tall. And so I cut those down this spring. As you can see, they're making a comeback, but that's why I'm here today to bushwhack them back down so that they don't get too far out of hand. Like I said, then we start getting them around that height or even that height, and that's a much bigger problem and a much bigger issue to clear those. I want to keep this clearing as uh, cleared as I can until we uh, get the contractors in here so that they don't have to spend so much time clearing. It's peaceful out here. I really like it. I love coming back here. I can't wait till like our front porch will be like right here and then our back deck will be in the back facing the trees. A few of those trees will have to come down yet. We're gonna push that a little further back, but just standing here, just imagining, sitting on the deck on the porch, drinking my coffee in the mornings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be nice. Hey, where'd the dogs go? I see a Chevy. Diesel, where'd you go? Come here, guys. Hey. You guys coming? Sort of cleared into here a little bit yet. I'm not too sure if I'm going to clear these smaller trees down. I was at first. I was going to clear everything down back here. Right up until this line right here. Where the tall trees start. All of that was going to come down. But for now, I'll leave these for now. And I'll just mow in between them. And if we want to push it further, no big deal. But I want to leave as many trees standing as possible. I'm a little bit of a tree hugger. But I'm not one of those crazy ones. I'm a tree hugger in the sense that I want privacy and I want a beautiful country property in the bush. That kind of gets ruined if you cut them all down. Got a deer trail going through here. Diesel found it. We found all the deer poop. It's a delicacy to dogs. <laughs> yeah. So this bush will be cleared back a little bit further, like I said, and uh, this whole area will most likely be uh, fully landscaped, manicured front yard. Dogs won't be allowed in the front yard. We flower beds and walkways and paths and nice sod laid down, beautiful lawn. The dogs will be kept in the back of the property, behind the house. There'll be a fenced in area for them there to run around in so that we don't have to worry about uh, like wildlife as much. So we can just let them out, go to the bathroom real quick and they're not just gonna, you know, disappear into the bush like they just did now. There comes Diesel. There he is, hey bud. Where's your brother? Where's your brother? Chevy! Come here, bud! <whistles> oh, there he is. See him? I'll spot a Chevy. Figured they, they deserve to come out here and stretch their legs a little bit. And then there will be nice pathways going through the woods here. We can go on nice walks. I'd like to have nice packed gravel down on them eventually. Have them lit with some benches on the back along the way. Be nice long walking trails so we can get our exercise on our own property and sort of go for a nice walk in the park without even leaving our own land, you know? That's the idea. So that when we retire, we'll have it exactly how we want it. And then, uh, you know, one day when we pass away, we'll uh, hand it off to our children and they can do what they want with it. Either they can keep it in the family, or if they don't want it, they can sell it and uh, do whatever they want with the proceeds, I guess. I mean, I'll be gone, so I kind of hope that they keep it in the family. That's my wish, and we just pass it down generation to generation, but I mean, I'm going to be gone, so it won't really matter much to me. Whatever they need to do at that time, that'll be up to them. Let's see if this thing's charged up enough yet to start her up. Chevy, you need to have a talk with the Chevy, okay? Making me look bad. I told everybody it's got the power of the Chevy in there. Yeah, you go have a talk with it, okay? Yeah, you drink some water and then you, you, you tough guy. Diesel, you want to have a talk with it? You guys got to do something. I need to get my mower running. That <laughs> tire on the back there is low. Oh boy, I need to uh, do some work on that thing. Right? Right, Diesel? <laughs> There's just so many other things to do right now. All right, let's try this again. This is really weird. Usually it starts up no problem. I bet you anything it's not getting a good connection and you can sort of see why. It's all corroded. What are you guys worried about, eh? You don't like the mower? 
<laughs> I think they'd be just fine with it if it didn't start. Get them. Get them. Just don't get them too hard, okay? Don't hurt each other. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Crazy animals. Okay, let's see if this thing will start up. That'll distract them. Come on now. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I win! I know, I know, I know. I do in the draw. I know, I know. You're scared, you're scared. I need you in there anyway for a few minutes, okay? I'm just gonna go around and uh shut the truck off and open the windows for them right. you guys be all right for a few minutes right i don't want them to get hurt by anything so i do a quick mow before i run out of gas okay all right you beautiful beast you let the boys out again come on guys everything's okay come check it out come check it out guys this way come on diesel was just panicking in there the poor guy don't worry man I was riding the mower the mower wasn't riding me okay by that I mean I was in control he thinks that that thing was attacking me I think well, yeah, this is what we got done. So at least we got the driveway done and up here around the camper and stuff. <laughs> you saw how I sort of have to sort of zigzag my way around in here, eh? It's the only way I can get between all of these shrubs. I've got to come in here with a little mini excavator yet. I'm going to pull out all of these roots. Those are all like roots where big shrubs and trees were growing. So I'll get those pulled out yet. Well, we uh, got quite a bit done. We got that section there, and then I started on this section here. We'll come back uh, soon and finish this. Should have brought gasoline with me. Yeah, well, can only do so much. All right, Diesel? It's better than it was. I'm okay. No need to panic, buddy. No need to panic. I'm okay boy you're an old man if i knew you were gonna panic like that when i was on the lawnmower i wouldn't have brought you but at the same time i wanted to give them the chance to, to run around here right so i'm gonna let the mower cool down so that i'm not leaving it here while it's 
still hot and then I'll put it away in its storage spot and uh, head back home. This is sort of my day to day. I figured I'd touch base with you this weekend. Uh, tomorrow is Monday for me, so tomorrow I'm going to the USA. Got to run down to Thief River Falls and pick up a load of ATVs down there. Bring them back here. So I should be down there uh, 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 sometime in the morning. I might even do two loads tomorrow. We'll see. Really humid out. And it just started to rain as we were leaving, so wouldn't have been able to get too much more mowing done. Though now it stopped raining again. You can tell there's more on the way though. You just feel it in the air. The air is just thick and humid and wet. Well, we went on a pretty good hike through the bush. Did a walk around the property line. Made sure everything was still where it should be. That nothing was there that shouldn't be there. Got to make sure that other people don't come and set up. People should know that they're not supposed to be hunting in that area because there's people living in that area, but people don't always follow the rules. So I, I don't mind hunting. I mean, my I have my firearm license too. I'm not that big of a hunter. I, I like target shooting more, but I understand a lot of people like to hunt. They just would prefer if they wouldn't hunt on my land. That's all. You never know where those bullets might end up if they're not careful, right? Wait, oui, Joe. Wait, okay. You gotta get you in the light, man. Get you, get you in the light. Oh, Chevy wants to be in the. Okay. Hey, Chevy, come here. Both of you guys. Well, you guys have fun at the land today? You have fun? I was scared of the big angry tractor. Chevy, you're scared of everything. So I'm just putting this together for you guys. Just a little weekend, little fun, little video for you to show you, uh, sort of catch you up on the process building our house on our land out there. I'm just, like I said, trying to keep it clear for now, and uh, I guess we'll see when we're able to start uh, actually building the house. It'll be probably a little while yet. But yes, we got the wiener right here. He's doing good. We got the commander right here, still in his physical form, doing pretty good. What you think, man? What you think? Should I take you next time? I don't like it there. It's all scary and there's bugs. I don't like bugs. Well, I guess it's me and you again next time, Chevy. And the angry mower. So I've got to feed these beasts right now. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I hope you hang out with me tomorrow. Tomorrow we're headed down to the USA. we got to pick up a load in Thief River Falls. Diesel's not going to come with me tomorrow yet, but I think I'm going to take him with me on Tuesday. Uh, we've got to go north on Tuesday. I think we're going up to uh, Toulon. You want to go in the truck, Diesel? I want food. Okay, we're gonna eat and then Tuesday? Yeah? Only if I get to eat. I'll feed you, man. They're getting demanding. I better let you go. Thanks for hanging out with me in this little weekend vlog. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe.